What's up guys, you're here with Gora from Pick Dogs and thank you for joining me here for your free picks for the MLS on Saturday, March 30th. Well guys, another Saturday, another great slate of the MLS games, 13 games on the schedule, uh, kicking off at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time if I'm not mistaken, uh, the first game of the day, yes. Uh, and uh, I think it's going to be another interesting afternoon and evening. Uh, the picks for the European top football leagues you can find in a separate video, including the parlay of the day, a nice five-legger that pays out at plus 343. Now, for my best bets, you can click the link in the description. That will get you up to my page where you can sign up, get a daily pass, three-day pass, seven-day pass, or even a month-long pass if that's something you want to do. Uh, if you are interested in signing up for different sports books, you can click the link, uh, go to the Pig Dogs website. There's a drop down menu on the top left, uh, left hand side. On the bottom of it, there's a uh, tab called sports books. Select your state, which means where you are located, and uh, select, and then you will get the selection of books that you can sign up for through Pig Dogs, get some additional bonuses and stuff like that. So if you're interested, check it out, guys. Uh, like I said, guys, 13 games of the schedule in the MLS. And let's get this show the road. Philadelphia versus Minnesota in the first game of the day. Uh, Philadelphia is coming off of an impressive win against Portland. However, defensively, they are still a mess and they are still struggling by keeping a clean sheet. Minnesota on the other side, they haven't lost any of their last five games. They are coming off of a 2-0 win against LAFC. Uh, they are solid in that attack again. However, they are also quite uh, sloppy when it comes to defending and... Uh, I honestly was surprised they kept a clean sheet against LAFC, who uh, hasn't been there at their best so far this season, but still, quite an impressive thing to do by Minnesota. Uh, when we look at the head-to-head -head matchups, both teams to score have hit in every single one of these uh, games between these two teams, and uh, because of that, guys, uh, both teams to score at over 2.5 at minus 115, it's going to be my pick for this one. Colorado will be hosting LAFC, who, like I just said, uh, is actually, uh, uh, they actually won their last game against Nashville 5-0, and uh, that was a huge confidence boost, and I think that now that they finally got a taste of a win for this season, uh, they won't let go of it, to be honest. Colorado has been okay so far this season, they haven't been the greatest, they are coming off of a loss against Houston at home, uh, but... Uh, I think that uh, they will lose this one, if I'm being honest. They are the underdogs at home. Uh, they will once again have a season with a lot of inconsistencies, a lot of disappointing results. And uh, because of that, guys, I think that LAFC is the better team here, and I think that they will get the win. So I'm going to take LAFC on the money line at plus 125. Charlotte is hosting Cincinnati in, uh, in what, uh, in my opinion, should be a very, very slow-paced game. Uh, where both teams will be focused mostly on defending. Cincinnati is leading the MLS right now with 11 points. Uh, Charlotte is in 13th place with 7 points, but uh, neither team has been doing so well when it comes to scoring goals. Instead, both of them were focused on that defense. So I'm kind of looking at the under in this one, honestly, at minus 125. But as my official pick, I'm going to go with the first half draw at plus 107. I think that... Uh, if something's going to happen, it's going to be in the second half, possibly late in the game. And uh, I don't think we'll see much much action in the attack against in the first half. So I'm taking first half draw. DC United is hosting Montreal in the MLS matchup on Saturday. That's a 7.30 p.m. Eastern time game. Uh, both teams have shown us that they can score a lot of goals this season. Uh, Montreal has scored... Uh, eight goals in their last three games. Uh, they have also conceded a bunch of goals. Same goes for DC. They have scored a lot of goals, but they have also conceded a lot of goals. And both teams on top of that have a lot of injured players, so the depth could be the issue for both of teams here. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if either team gets shut out, and that's the only reason why I'm not taking both teams to score in this one. But instead, over two and a half goals at minus 139. I think that's definitely worth a shot, and I'll be putting a whole unit on this one. Inter Miami is hosting uh, New York City FC in uh, what should be a good matchup for Inter Miami, in my opinion. Who is coming off of a loss uh, 4 0, uh, and I believe was that New York City uh, or New York Red Bulls that they lost against? Like, give me just a second. Uh, they ended up losing their last game to New York Red Bulls, 4-0 on the road. 
Uh, but uh, they are playing at home in this one, and they're playing against a very sloppy team on the road that is New York City FC. Sure, they had a win a couple of weeks ago against Toronto 2-1, which in my opinion was a bit of an anomaly, but they are back to losing track against Cincinnati 1-0 uh, on the road. On top of that, uh, New York City still hasn't won a single game on the road this season. They have three losses uh, out of three games. Uh, they haven't scored a goal at don't take the on their own. And even though Inter Miami will most likely be without Messi in this game, this, they still have a bunch of great players like Suarez, Busquets, Alba, uh, and other players uh, who can definitely score goals. So we are getting Inter, Inter Miami on the money line at plus 100. And I will gladly take this. I will not be pushing it to over two and a half simply because we are getting such a good price on the money line. And also, I wouldn't be surprised to see a 1 nil or 2 nil win for Inter Miami in this game. Orlando is hosting another New York team, and uh, that is New York Red Bulls, who have been outstanding so far this season with only one loss. Uh, they have uh, won a few games as well. They have been scoring goals consistently. Their defense has been quite solid, and like I said, they're coming off of a massive win against Inter Miami 4-0 at home. Now, uh, Orlando has been uh, bouncing back a little bit, uh, step by step. They are coming off of a 2-0 win against Austin, uh, but I just don't see them keeping two clean sheets in a row, if I'm being honest, especially against uh, New York Red Bulls, who, it is, who are in such a great form. So, uh, both teams to score at minus 125. That's going to be my pick for this MLS game. Toronto is hosting Sporting Kansas City, and uh, I don't know... Uh, I I don't know. I, I I at the moment and sorry for me, me losing my train of thought, uh Toronto is a very good team. And I know that that will probably come to an end soon because they do lack some serious offense. And on top of that, uh they're not as big as favorites as I expected to be because uh Lorenzo Isinia is not expected to play in this game. Maybe that would change until the game time. But uh, they have been absolutely outstanding at home so far this season. They have uh, two wins in two games. Uh, they haven't conceded a single goal at home yet. They are coming off of a nice win against Atlanta, 2-0 at home. And even without the senior in, in, in the lineup, I think that they have what it takes to beat this Sporting Kansas City team. Mostly on the defensive end. Honestly, I'm not expecting a high-scoring game, but uh, when we are getting such a great price on Toronto on the money line at home, we have to take it. It's plus 172 right now. I just noticed that I have the prices switched. Uh, it's Toronto plus 172, Kansas plus 157, and uh, I will take Toronto on the money line. The double chance is a bit pricey, but uh, it could be great for a double, but as a single... I'm going to go with uh, Toronto on the money line. The next, we have the Texas Derby guys between Austin and Dallas. Uh, two teams uh, who haven't won a single game yet. This Actually, Dallas has won the first game against San Jose 2-1. After that, they went on a three-game losing streak. While Austin hasn't won any of their last four games, any of their, of their first four games of the season. Uh, but they have been scoring a few goals. And uh, I think their time is about to come, to be honest. I think that they are the better team here than the Dallas is. But I think that both teams will go for it in this game. Both teams will try to bounce back. This is a Texas Derby. Uh, it's a bit of a rivalry. And uh, because of that, I'm going to go with both teams to score in over two and a half. It's plus 150. We are getting a nice plus money for you guys. Even just both teams to score is a decent price. Uh, and uh, it could be perfect for a double. But as a single, I'm going to take both teams to score and over two and a half goals. Houston is hosting San Jose in the next MLS matchup and uh, San Jose is I mean a solid team overall and most of their good results will come from a home game this season uh, and when playing on the road against Houston they haven't won any of their last nine games uh, San Jose also haven't uh, won any of their last uh, five games overall and uh, I don't know. I just feel like Houston is going to get this one. They are defeated in their last three games. They're coming off of a nice win against Colorado. Before that, they have beaten Portland at home. And like I said, in my opinion, Houston is the better team here. And uh, San Jose on the road, not so much great, to be honest. And uh, because of that, we are getting a great price on Houston on the money line. I'm going to take that, and it's minus 118. 
Nashville is hosting Columbus, and uh, they are the bit of an underdogs here. Uh, Nashville is against Columbus, who uh, is actually coming off of a loss to Charlotte 2 0. And I don't think that they should be as big as favorites as they are. Yes, they're a solid team, probably one of the best in the league. Uh, this is the first loss they've suffered in a while. Uh, but Nashville hasn't lost any of their last seven home games, and I'm aware that they will need to score at least a goal here to get a positive result, and I think they will. So, uh, with that in mind, both teams to score at minus 143. That's going to be my pick for this one. Salt Lake and St. Louis uh, are clashing in another MLS matchup, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and as soon as I saw this matchup, guys, my thought was goals. Uh, both teams to score an over 2.5 goals at minus 110. I think that's an outstanding price on a great pick. Neither side can keep a clean sheet, especially St. Louis, but offensively, they are two offensive firepowers, especially St. Louis, who will be scoring goals consistently, who has been doing it in a, uh, quite a quite the effective way and uh, they have been scoring a lot so both teams to score and over two and a half goals at minus 110. For our next matchup and the one after that we have a couple of uh, west coast rivalries going on LA Galaxy versus Seattle. Uh, I know that Seattle hasn't been their best over the last uh, few months and uh, they haven't started the season that well. They have been conceding a lot of goals and haven't been scoring not nearly enough but Galaxy on the other side is a defensive mess of a team. They have conceded at least a goal in each of their last five games. They were losing 2-0 against Kansas City. They were able to outscore them in the end 3-2 uh, and get a nice precious win on the road. But like I said, defensively they are a one-hot mess. And uh, because of that, I just don't understand why, why we are getting over 2.5 goals at minus 133. Galaxy alone can score 3 or 4 goals in this game. If Seattle joins in, fine. If not, fine as well. Because I think that Galaxy alone, uh, if needed, will score at least three goals in this game, if not more. So, Galaxy versus Seattle over two and a half goals at minus 133. Vancouver and Portland is another matchup on the West Coast, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Vancouver is coming off of a loss to Salt Lake 2-1, which was highly disappointing. But what was more disappointing was the fact that Portland lost to Philadelphia at home. And Philadelphia was missing like eight or nine players uh, at that point who were all in, on, on the international duty for the national teams. They still ended up losing 3-1. So... I'm not even going to think about this any deeper, guys. I'm taking Vancouver on the money, like minus 114. I think that they will bounce back in their second home game in a row, while Portland, they are in a bit of a mess right now, and uh, this will not be the way out for them. So I'm taking Vancouver on the money line. That's it, everyone. Uh, these were our free picks for the MLS. 13 games, like I said. Check out the rest of the free picks up on the Pink Ducks YouTube channel, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. And of course, stay tuned for more free picks coming up soon.